What's up, everybody? Steven Cudeno, KO Art of Sports right here. Let's talk about what's going on in boxing this week. So Canelo versus Charlo got officially announced September 30th. You can get your tickets now. Jermel posted a few pictures, him putting in the work, looking diesel, looking big. He said that he was always the Charlo that was getting negotiated for the Canelo fight in this three-fight deal that Canelo now has with PBC. Press conference for this fight is actually going to be this next week. So we'll have footage uh, for you coming up. And uh, this is the post that he put along with these pictures. About to shock the world, 168. Then I'm coming to hold my throne down at 154. I'm the king. Nothing will stop me. Make a fight here on out. After my boy rematch, we could give the people what they want and make the T-Bud happen in my zone, Lions only, OHB. And then, you know, Crawford had to say a little something. So Crawford said, you know, good luck in your fight. I wish you the best. That would be a great fight uh, at 154, but, you know, first things first, Canelo. Canelo's up next. Then we got Caleb Plant addressing the slap. Here's what he had to say. I mean, a man's got a right to, you know, defend himself. You know, grown man touch another grown man in his face. Pulling on his beard real hard. And, you know, I got the decency to tell you not to do that again. I don't spaz on you right there. I got enough decency to tell you not to do that again. And, you know, the only thing you can reply with is how I'm a bitch-ass white boy. And look at him, y'all, getting shook just like a bitch-ass white boy would. And look at him, y'all, just like a white boy would, acting like a bitch. And then, you know, you immediately grab my face again even harder after I just asked you not to do that no more. I got my wife standing right behind me and I'm in a room full of my peers. I mean, what do you do? You know, you making it real hard on a, on a guy. You really putting his back on the wall. You start doing all that shit in front of you, you know, in front of my wife and everybody in the room. I didn't ask you to quit fucking with me. So, and yeah, there's a lot of Texas boys in the room, but it's like, shit, I'd rather get some ball, 40 of y'all, 50 of y'all, than have to go home and look myself in the mirror. I done told you to quit fucking with me. It wasn't them two fighting and me getting in between it or nothing like that. That ain't none of my business. I don't care two grown men want to fight. That's on them. It didn't have nothing to do with any of that. And he didn't mention my daughter or anything like that. It didn't have nothing to do with none of that. He kept touching me in my face. And I told him, knock that shit off. But he wasn't listening. Might have seen ESPN reported Haney versus Pro Grade October 28th. But apparently there's something going on with the negotiations because we just went online talking about they want to change the date. Here's what he had to say. Man, they got some pussy in this fight game right now. So you know me and Haney supposed to fight, right? We agreed on date. We agreed on everything. And now they trying to, they trying to move the date and stuff like that. The Haney's, I know y'all smart, but y'all some smart bitches at the same time. Y'all... Y'all pulling some dirty shit, bro. Y'all trying to pull, not dirty, y'all trying to pull some slick shit, but we ain't gone for that. We already agreed to the date. That's what it is. We agreed to the date already. Why y'all not, why you, Why y'all can't go on the same date? We agree. I signed the contract. What else you want? What more y'all want? Come on, man. Y'all some bitches, dog. The handy some bitches. Y'all scared. Y'all scared of me. Y'all don't want me to get ready. That's what y'all don't want to do, but I'm already getting ready. So I already signed, I signed the contract for the date already. The date is already in the contract. Y'all can't move it. And nigga, you ain't no big draw. I don't need you. So if you don't want to fight, go fight somebody else. Go do what you want. Go stay at 35 and do whatever you got to do. But nigga, the date is the date. And that's I'm standing on that. And next are the fights we got this weekend. Rodriguez versus Lopez on Showtime. Gary Russell versus Kent on the undercard. That should be a, a good fight. I believe it's out in uh, Maryland. And then we got uh, Mexico versus Mexico. Navarrete versus Valdez. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Top Rank doing a great job bringing Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera in to uh, hype this fight up. So that should be a good one. Can't wait to see that. And Ebony Bridges is very happy it's Friday. 
so should you be. Hope you guys all have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. And hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you this week for the Jermel and Canelo Presser. Bye.